Today we're going to be talking about the ZWO electronic filter wheel. Seven positions, 36 millimeters. Let's go take a look. Here we have the ZWO electronic filter wheel, seven positions, and it's a 36 millimeter uh, filter wheel. I'll go ahead and open this up, take a look at it. All right, looks like we got some adapters. Pull the filter wheel out. Turn the correct way. There's a small bag of little screws there, don't know if you can see them, but tiny little screws. Um, these are the little clips that will hold in the, uh, the uh, filters that aren't caged. That's probably what the screws are for. And here you've got it's like a USB cable. A set of thumb screws. A 1.25 millimeter adapter and a nice little screwdriver. Probably help out with these. Again, this is the ZWO electric filter wheel, seven positions, 36 millimeter. And that's what I'll be using with my uh, Optolong filter set. I bought the uh, 36 millimeters without the cages, and so I'll be using these to install those, and it'll, that'll hold them in place since they don't screw in. Alright, as you can see I've already got the uh, filter wheel put together. I was going to do a quick disassembly and just kind of show you what I did. I've got some velcro on the back so I can attach some of the other stuff I've got. But you've got some screws on the back of the uh, filter wheel place those right there. Got seven in total and you'll just use the screwdriver that came with it. Actually we've got eight screws in total, miss this one. I'll probably fast forward through this. Okay, and then once you have all the screws out, you'll just lift the back off. And with mine, since I've got the cageless filters, you've got these little rings that hold everything in place. And you'll just carefully place your filter on there. Right now I'm messing with the luminance filter. Got it in the number one slot but you can see that little ring try to do it without touching the filter comes off and the filter just sets right inside there just sets down in a little groove uh, just big enough for that filter to set into and you just take this ring drop it on there and then screw it down. Once you get your filter dropped in there, it's good to have a little pair of tweezers. And you're going to want to set that little cage on there and just get everything lined up. You get one of the screws started. You don't want to go all the way. Use these tweezers to just kind of help hold the screw. So 
so that I don't slip with a screwdriver and accidentally scratch the glass. And once you get it started, you just get all of them in there, and then you can go back and tighten it down. Just be very careful not to scratch the glass. These filters aren't, ex aren't the cheapest things in the world. Then you go through, tighten everything down good. They've got a little bit of dry Loctite on the screws as well. So as long as you don't run them in, back them out too often, they'll stay in there pretty good. If you do have to take them out quite often, then you'll probably want to uh, put a little dab of blue Loctite on there or something. But once you get all the uh, filters on and the little cages that go around them on, then you'll just take this piece, blow it off really good. And if you've got, if you've got one of these, blow any dust off of those as well. And then place your lid back on, and I'll probably use the tweezers to put these in as well because they're very small screws, and I have very sausage hands. So just run those in, and you'll be good to go.